Sandhya India Hikes organizes the Gokuri Everest Base Camp Trek. Now we all have heard of the Everest Base Camp Trek, but what is Gokuri Everest Base Camp? How is it different? Everybody knows the Everest Base Camp Trek. Now this um, EBC Gokuri Trek starts off along with the main EBC Trek itself, and then we deviate. We take a circular route. We go via Gokuri and uh, Chola Pass, which is a high pass, and then join the main EBC Trail back. Now, what we get by doing this is uh, Gokuri has a series of six beautiful high altitude lakes. Um, now, this is an extremely beautiful trail, and it is very less crowded. Also, a lot of people don't go there. Everybody goes on the EBC trail. You have less crowd. It you get these six lakes, and you have a Chola Pass to cross. Chola Pass is about seventeen and a half thousand feet, and that's a challenge in itself. Again, very beautiful views. So you get the best of the entire Everest region in this whole trail. Wow. Yeah. So, what exactly is Gokyo Ri? What is that itself? Uh, so, Gokyo Ri is a summit. It climbs up to seven, seventeen and a half thousand feet, and uh, it's right at the Gokyo Village, uh, overlooking two lakes. And uh, from the top of Gokyo Ri, you get the best views of Everest. Uh, everybody who's been there finally agrees that yes, Gokyo Ri view was the best because you see a glacier, you see two big lakes, and then you see Makalu, you see Lhotse, you see Everest, you see Choyu, four of the big 8,000 uh, uh, feet summits, and uh, you don't get this view even from Kalapathar. So it is the best view of the region. Wow. So does this actually make the trail longer? I mean, duration longer? Uh, uh, see, we are actually starting from the Gokuri side and coming back on the Everest main trail. It it is about three days longer than just doing the EBC trek. But then, given you are getting so much variety for just those three three days extra, I think this is the route to do. Sandhya, so difficulty wise, is this more difficult or is it easier? How does the So how does this trail affect the difficulty uh see it does make it a little more difficult because uh, in the ebc trail you would have climbed to 18000 feet once uh, whereas here you do the same 17 18000 feet climbing three times uh, the gokuri climb the chola pass climb which is about 17000 feet and then the kalapathar the ebc kalapathar which is 18000 feet so going to that altitude three times is uh, not easy at all so you must come well prepared for this trek Sounds intense. Yeah. So a lot of people have the Everest base camp on their bucket list. So by taking this different trail, are they kind of missing out on the original trail? Uh, not at all. Not at all. Uh, the Chola Pass route comes and joins the main Everest trail at Lobuche. That is before before Gorakhship, which is a base camp for Everest base camp and Kalapathar. So you are going to Everest base camp. You will be seeing all those the Kumbu glacier. You will be seeing the climbers tents. You will be going to Kalapathar from where you get this uh, uh, wonderful view of Everest. And then you come back along the main ABC trail itself. So you are doing both the treks fully. Okay. Wow. My heart is fluttering thinking yeah. about all you know the tents at the Everest. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing this.